So hi everybody and welcome back to Sunreal Engine 5 tutorial series for absolute beginners. This is video 131 and in this video we are talking again about this line here on the bottom but this time not about CMD. We click on this drop down and we call talking about this Python here. What is this Python and why we need it? First of all, you probably know what Python is. Python is a programming language. And uh, the question is here, why we have Python here in our command line. Uh, the purpose of this one is Python can be used as a scripting language in Unreal Engine 5. And what does this mean used as a scripting language? But before we go into this one, Let's talk about programming languages before we dive into Python, because Python is a programming language, right? So let's talk first about Unreal Engine programming languages, which we have what we have here and what it is used. First of all, Unreal Engine itself is made with C++. So that's uh, very important to know. And C++, uh, C++ means it's a very fast uh, uh, programming language. And that's very important. Why is, uh, why is it important that we use a very fast base programming language for our game engine? The reason is for that, for example, you start your game and you have here many thousand assets and let's say eight card textures. And when you watch this one here, when you write here that FPS, for example, and watch this FPS here, right? And see this FPS here. And uh, you have here really a fast paced game with many actors, with other players, perhaps, or other stats, other many textures and uh, many calculations and so on. Then you need a real fast programming language. And the reason for that is that later this is not dropping down uh, because if you have, a, let's say, a slow programming language, which, for example, Python here, which we are talking today, is one of the slowest programming language out there, actually. So it's a very bad uh, programming language for a base uh, core, let's say for a core for a game engine, it's not the best case because it's very slow. But what I mean with very slow here, let's say, um, like I said, when I start the game and I walk with my character and let's say there are coming particle effects and there are other actors and let's say my game is fast paced, which means I can activate the skill here now, bing, and now I run much faster. And you see, the more fast I get, there are some frame drops when I when I change my camera perspective. And if I would have now more, if I would have now more uh, assets here, more things, and all time, all this kind of stuff will uh, must be calculated at the runtime, right? And if your programming language is not that good, that can cause problems. Uh, this is one reason. But there are many other things as well. Uh, so with that said, let's go on. So C++ is a very good programming language. And uh, the question is now why we have here Python, because we have already C++, right? Why we need Python if we already have C++ as a programming language. But uh, um, actually, we have not only C++, we have here one more programming language in Unreal Engine 5, and you probably know it. It is the Blueprint, uh, Blueprint system. When I open up this one here, and let's open this one up. Yeah, this kind of thing, what you see here, which is called Blueprints and so on, and you can see it event graph. This kind of programming is called also um, a graphical programming. It's a scripting programming also, similar to Python, but with a graphical over uh, uh, interface. In my in my opinion, it's absolute powerful because for starters, very convenient uh, because it's not text uh, based, which means Python and C++, this kind of programming languages, you'll have to learn a command line or something like uh, uh, IDE where you write all the comments in. Here in this version with the blueprints, you just 
learn these nodes, which is much more convenient. Really, you just start here, try to find a node visually, and then you have not to know exactly the name. It pops up with the search thing here. Uh, if I drag out and you see if you try to find a node, let's say print string. I don't know even the name fully here and I see it's print text here or print string are popping up and I can just select this one and then I can do something like that. So it's very easy. Blueprints are really very easy, very convenient for new, uh, uh, for new uh, starters uh, who learn programming and they get a very fast um, Yes, they learn very fast it so actually how many programs we have in unreal engine so one definitely is c plus plus then we have uh, uh, visual scripting which are blueprints actually we have in uh, unreal engine f even more because unreal engine is using also in certain places say sharp but it's not visual uh, uh, it's not uh, exposed here for certain things for example if you would open up uh, one of these blueprints parents which are made in uh made in c plus plus you can't uh, see this but behind the things all this kind is written in c plus plus but c plus plus itself has also some built-in features which is using c sharp for example build uh there are some yeah, so helper data, helper files, which are built even in C Sharp. So you see, there are a bunch of different kind of programming languages in Unreal Engine, actually. But important to know is that the base uh, language you, which you should learn if you start learning programming languages is Blueprints or C++. If you are an absolute starter, and don't know anything about uh, programming till now, you should uh, perhaps start, if you want to make games in Unreal Engine, perhaps you should start with Blueprints. It's uh, very easy, actually, very comfortable. Like I said, it's uh, graphical, and you don't know all time to know how the text is written, case sensitive, and you, you don't know any programming at all. Then uh, the second thing I would recommend it is not Python, like it shows here, <laughs> that you learn not Python, because after that you should learn, if you are going to programming in uh, Unreal Engine 5, it's C++ definitely, because later you want to try uh, to combine blueprints with C++. We, we will not talk about this in here, but this is just uh, my recommendation if you go, because Later, you will see if you make, uh, let's say, a big team with big projects, that some c some codes are better in C++, so the overall speed is faster, because blueprints are also very slow. That's the negative side, which many don't say, because blueprints is here, uh, a graphical interface, and you can see this one here must be converted also uh, back to uh, um, compiler language anyhow and that takes time because this is also an intermediate language but here I have a good news there is something called a nativization which means uh, this blueprint what we have here can be converted before it's compiled to a similar code like C++ not exactly but similar and gives a real hard boost you sh uh, we will talk about narrativization in a future a little bit, not in this video, but we talk now about say, uh, Python. So uh, first learn blueprints if you are absolute new and you will need blueprints even so if you are not new. So you learn blueprints in general, it's a good way. C++ definitely if you want go for bigger projects because you will convert all your blueprints. What I mean with convert is here when you have this kind of stuff, you can convert this to blueprint uh, to, to C++ or other way around. Also, if you have something in C++, you can convert it to blueprints uh, how you like it. For example, then you would open up just a file in C++, get this note here in text form, 
and then set this up and then you would go and get this node in text form and then get here this other things and set up in all in text form. Think about the same thing here in text form and in programming language. So this is so the main difference here, but later more when, uh, when we talk about more programming. And yeah, so we, you have learned, let's say, uh, let's okay we have now scoped the programming language blueprint we have now c++ and the question is now here python why we need python then here and python is actually let me switch here uh, here to this uh, documentation it says it's an scripting uh, language for unreal engine using python this is one and it is experimental which means they uh, they try it out but Python is a very, very popular language, or let's say it becomes a very popular language. And the reason for that is it's very easy to learn for a text-based programming language. So because uh, text-based programming languages are most time not so, let's say, not so fair. <laughs> they don't like it so much. And uh, compared to other text-based programming languages, Python is very simple. Well, let's say compared to C++, Python is more simple uh, because um, they have simplified many things, but it, uh, but the simplification costs performance, which means they are uh, it's very slow and uh, compared to C++. And the simplification has other advantages. And that's why they use in many areas Python, for example, the simplification can be used in places where you don't need, let's say, very hard calculations. And exactly that is using uh, Unreal Engine 5 as well. It says, oh, at least they try to use it because it's experimental. They say, they say you can use Python for things like creating ulit, uh, utilities for your Editor, what uh, what me uh, what it means utilities for your editor? For example, it says here you can do something like construct large scale asset management pipelines, which means this kind of stuff. What you do with the scripting language Python, you are not actually using in your game later, right? This is just for helper files, for helper uh, things. So let's say it's more like this editor here to work in. So for example, if you want make your helper files or an helper window with your own settings, you can make this in Python and then on then dock it here. And then for example, you have your own setup for checking things. And then you open up your window, which is set up with Python or so. And then um, you converted this also here in a visual window here. And then you dock it here and then test it with this one here. So you get the idea. I hope you get the idea. So Python is not made for actually changing your gameplay. So that should be in C++ because we need the speed because Python is too slow. Uh, but it is made more for helper, um, for helper things. For example, the editor should show here like i said or even you can activate this in some places of blueprints but not all places in blueprints that's very important here um, for example you can make here they say our oh, ultimate time consuming asset management task right so this very important word here is automate most time you try to use this helper files to automate processes which would take a lot to go all time with your one hand or a click and then check and click instead. You click one of the scripting plugins and then you click here anything like it's similar like this one, but it's uh, just written in Python, right? And then you click here one option. Let's say I click here uh, anything here, bank. Let's make here some this one like a checkbox and then it will automatically update what you made here. And you have created this kind of help of uh, window here, right? That's the reason what they, oops, what's that? All right. And then, uh, right, I hope you get the idea and here procedural layout content and level, for example, again, creating levels, for example. So again, a helper file Python 
can make a procedural level for you and if you can <laughs> this or control user unreal editor from uis and so on okay i hope you can read this later more but as a starter i would not uh, not uh, go into this one actually because this python here scripting here is more meant for at once people why am I, what i mean with at once people is this helper files like or like i said you create your own details panel with your special settings or something like that in python and then you dock it your special window here similar like this one here you create here your own level editor here it looks like this one and then you can go here select it and then you can add it here this kind of stuff is made for bigger teams and the person who is creating for example these files who has knowledge in python he is helping the team workflow for the pipelines for example you have designers programmers and and you have let's say three five designers or who knows and then you, the designers say we would have um a better workflow with uh, getting assets and uh, comparing assets and making uh, management with the assets and so on and then they ask the python script creator if they could make here something like this create a window for us special for us designer that we can dock it here additionally and then check for special settings which we need for our workflow Right, and then that's the job of, for example, of this Python scripter, who he is creating something like that, and then he can provide this uh, utility tool for these designers. And yeah, I think you get the idea, right? So Python is made for more at once people who want to make, uh, create a workflow to make it easier to work with Unreal Engine. And as a starter, we are actually happy if we are able to understand, first of all, all the features of Unreal Engine. And later, if you get better and work in bigger teams, of course, then, then it might make sense to have a um, Python coder there who is providing kind of stuff like that. But it's like I said, it's more for bigger teams or if you are at once for example it works also for solo you can create your own plugins to make your workflow faster so if you have experience in python you can say okay i need i need a better window for example it's not made in unreal engine 5 it's not provided and there are uh, and then you create your own plugin it's called most time plugins you see this kind of plugins here what you see here these are most time just external codes right these are just external and if you make up uh, make uh, scripting with python anything you create probably also a plugin which means this one can then integrate it in your unreal engine they can activate for example the designer can activate your python plugin and then he can use it here in his game workflow so with that said let's talk a little bit more here because uh, there are here you can see uh, how to activate python python is in uh, unreal engine available at least this version this one here specific version and they say that this python has also a reason another reason for example this one here they say is important of the current fx reference platform because there are other places where python is used you can read this documentation i will give I will um, put it again in the description below. And here is something important, ways to run Python code in Unreal Engine. Important is this one here. For example, you can use Python for blueprints too, but only for special blueprints. And it says here, uh, only available in uh, here in project run. Uh, yes, something like that. And here, yeah, it says here in which uh, way you can use this blueprint. And um, I think it was, I said anywhere for only not runtime blueprints. Anyway, you can read this kind of stuff uh, and then you can read a little bit more if you are interested in creating Python, uh, how to work with Python, how to activate this and what you have to consider in scripting and 
Yes, this one was it what I wanted to point out probably. Here you can only use blueprints with this uh, editor only blueprints, not uh, gameplay blueprints. That's a little bit a disadvantage, but still you can use this one. It's still okay because you can use then uh, expose notes during uh, using Python and then you have uh, additional notes and so on for uh, testing and other stuff like this. But yeah, if you read this one, you will understand this kind of stuff here. I think all other things are um, just more in detail and not so important for us. So for us as a starter, what is important for us as a starter to know? Like I said, this kind of stuff is more for uh, utility, which means it's uh, you can create your own helper plugins and make your workflow much easier. And if you know already Python, you can try to create one of these plugins for your own. But here I want to show you what I mean with plugins. Like I said, there was a guy, for example, who made this, um, this console comments, which we have here. Here I can write here that FPS, for example. He made here a widget, right? Instead of using a plugin or using Python, anything, he just created here and let's go here. Uh, oh. Let's go here. I delete this anyway. And he created here something like a blueprint. I don't know which one. And then he said, okay, I create um, not a real blueprint. There was another class. And then he created here um, something like that. He docked it here on. And then um, this thing, what he docked here on, he used as a widget. And then he could uh, press a button to activate special uh, for example, console commands, he assigned these buttons with names with console commands. Uh, this is also a way to create helper, uh, you to, yes, helper files or helper windows um, for your workflow. Instead of using, for example, this console commands, then you activate your own uh, check widget <laughs> command or what you call it. And then you have a uh, other form, uh, perhaps an easier form instead of all time typing in. I just press a, just one button here. Mm, too bad I have not showed this right here. I could link uh, later his uh, tutorial. I saw this only so while I was uh, on YouTube and so. But yeah, and Python is similar. Python is a little bit more advanced, not similar. Let's say it's more advanced. You can create here if you have knowledge real this kind of files and make it work. So and there are, you can see yes. This kind of stuff will work with these lines and all this other kind of stuff you will read in the Python description. So the last word is, um, should you learn Python if you don't know it? My recommendation is uh, at start now. If you are new, just learn uh, Blueprint and C++ because that's more relevant for gaming, For at least if you are creating games. That's more important that you know this two kind of stuff. And if you are working with uh, teams and you say, I'm not interested in creating games, I'm more interested in programming, then why not learn after this one Python? Because Python is uh, used in many other places, like I said. And uh, many use Python also, just like I said, for uh, stuff like that, for helper to uh, uh, helper programs in many other cases as well not only in unreal engine 5 in many other places they use python but keep in mind python is one of the slowest uh, uh, programming languages out there it takes much time and that's why they use it usually not in gaming and in performance uh, uh, performance applications where you say performance is very important and they use it only for for helper uh, like uh, like here for things which are not needed for performance like say the editor is just during development and then you just load uh, assets here and get files for this kind of stuff uh, there is not a big performance uh, problem because this kind of stuff is not uh, called a critical performance but on the other side when we start here the game and we have here let's say three five characters or let's say we have here 100 characters 
and they should uh, they shotting each other with different kind of spells and we have here high textures python would just break down could not handle this uh this background uh, calculations it would just uh, just collapse together so that's why we need the c++ and even c++ is collapsing you see i mean if it's too big in scale so you see uh, C++ is also not the ultimate <laughs> language, but it's better than the other ones who are slower, right? So you can see C++ is hard, yes, but it is a thing which you should learn if you are really interested in performance and you should be interested in performance if you are working with 3D games in general, because in 3D games, they push the border higher and higher. What I mean with that is they want 90 FPS at least, and they want higher textures, which means eight card textures to, uh, to look astonishing. And they want many nice animations and all this kind of stuff cost uh, calculation, right? So you must calculate all this time in a millisecond and less in some nanoseconds probably. And yes, Python is just breaking down in this kind of stuff not possible c++ is breaking down too but this is the minimum language we try to learn <laughs> even uh, better than the other ones because we have no other choices because normally if c++ was handle even let's say higher uh, settings we would push the border even higher but it will still break down later because we're pushing all time the borders and borders we want better graphic, higher FPS, more animation, more, more, more. And yeah, that's why we are happy with C++. So, and last word, that was the reason why we have here Pythons. And you see, this is experimental. Careful, it says here on top. Experimental means it can be removed in the future, but right now you can use it. And this is not so... Uh, so so important you can still use it now because you are using it anyway for helper tools which means uh, for your gameplay it will make nothing so what i mean with that is if you are using this kind of helper tools here these helper tools are not compiled later anyway they are only used here in your environment and you are not using them later but they say it still can cause problems so careful about this <laughs> uh, but normally it should not make problems because like i said normally you would use them more for helper tools which are anyway not compiled in your game in your ship in your ship game normally not because you compile only the more important files and exclude all the not needed files for example this editor here is also not compiled and many editor features which you see here is not compiled they are all excluded later and when we start here the game in run mode, uh, this one is uh, this one is normally not a realistic environment. What I mean with that is because it's not compiled and many files are not excluded. Normally, if you want to test your game in a in a realistic environment, is you have to build it, then you may you need to pack it, and then you have to test it. But this takes a lot of time, so most times show this. Uh, this as a gameplay or as a test which is not so realistic because after compiling excluding many files your game runs much much better than what you can see here in editor but i talked again too much about other topics i dive into many other topics uh, but i hope you get the idea here with python so with that said i stop here and yeah if you have any questions or any complaints like all the time or any suggestions or tips and tricks, write it in the comments. And uh, good luck and bye.